the ease you should expect to know. Talk about the Tiny Core. Now, this is another install system, but this is the Alpha 9 of Tiny Core 3. I've installed it the same way as I did the last one, the last video. As you can see, I've added loads of stuff here. Extra cap, XChat, Pigeon, Genu Paint, just a basic one. Genumeric, it's super fast, as you'll see, that really, really fast. This is why I keep saying to you, don't throw away that old machine, use it again. Because it won't be as fast on a really old machine, obviously, but it will get usable and you'll be able to use it. Super. Kimpy works just fine. I have found a few problems in the alpha, but not too many, so there's nothing too bad about it. I've just installed G-Brady, but we'll come back to that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm working the Fox up, the Firefox. I've enabled Flash and Sound Support, which I've dealt with in another video quite a while ago. If none of you can get it going, I'll do another one, or relink it, one or the other. So anyway, we're going to go to the BBC homepage, because you know where it's like, there's loads of colours and everything. I'm going to do a bit of stuff here, shall we? Okay. So, I'm going to click on there, because basically there's a big thing going on in Scotland at the moment, called Tin Park, big concert thing, festival, loads of people there. Paloma Faith is there. Some of you may not know her, some of you may. But we'll go from there, we'll go to the page there. Looks pretty clear to me, on the Fox, on Tiny Core. Super duper, I like it already. It is really, really fast on a modern machine, I'll put it that way. So we're going to see if we can get a bit of video going. There'll be no sound for legal reasons, as you well know. Net connection really bad again, look. And I should have to capture it a bit faster there, shouldn't I, really? So, yeah, works super fine. Now, pull over face, a bit mad like me, so you might like it. Anyway, Chromium as well. Now, Chromium, I felt, booted up slower than the Fox, but at the end of the day, it worked faster in progress, if you know what I mean. When you're using it, it's a little bit faster, but it is a lot smaller download anyway. There's less to it, so to say. But yeah, it works super fine. So I'm going to type in tiny and core, as we see. And you get all the answers there, like packages, boot options, repositories, drop bear. I like dropping bears, big things, yeah. Tiny core. Go straight to the site, look. See what I mean about in use, it's quite a bit quicker. Bearing in mind, these are quite text based pages, so that may be something to do with it. If you go to downloads, you get the stable version, which is version 2. Or the testing version, which is the three alphas, which I'm using now, the Alpha 9, the most current one. And I find this pretty good, on the whole. But anyway, Audacious theme music. Well, I'm not a fan of Audacious, but it's there. You can have Banshee and all the others if you wanted to. They're all there in the repos, if you know what I'm saying. Asunder, my favourite ripper. That's all there and works super duper fine. Nice too, nice addition. I do like Asunder. Now, Aurora. Now, I've had this browser on Ubuntu and Debian. It's reasonably stable, it can be fast and can be slow, it's a bit picky. But on tiny core at the moment, it's not stable enough for, to add really. So anyway, if I went to Google, I put in BBC homepage, and what you'll find is, we click there, it starts loading, we get to the page you want to go to, if I've, and that's it, it lags out and it just drops out. So that's a little bit of work done on that one. I don't have enough to destroy using the Aurora the other night actually. Anyway, Abbey Word, super fine. What version we got? 268, that's reasonable enough for me. Does the job, it works. You can get all the cups, printing stuff in the repos for your printers, for lots of printers here too. So that's another good one. I'll go to apps, now if you've seen the app browser, you just connect, and you just scroll down, and down, 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 deeper and down, down the app list. Loads in there, loads and loads and loads. Look, there's Audacious. I've already installed it in the main TCZ. So what we'll do for you now, as it's an install system, um, should I put the plugins in? No, 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 no I can't be bloody plugins. So really. This is just showing you what it's like on an install system, installed system. To say it actually does work, it takes five minutes out of your life to breathe a bit of life back into that machine. So no big deal whatsoever. You get your tail, it does the job, everything works mainly on the cell phone. Now you can see, if I go to shutdown, there's my backup thing, because the HDA, TC, yes, the Tonic Core Experiment, D thing, E, what you will even call it. Anyway, that's all I can say about it, really. But it is really, really nice. Oh, G Braining. It don't work. But then again, it's an Alpha 9. I'm not too worried about that. That will all come in the end. So I'm just not too worried about it, to be really honest with you. There are other games here to install if I really wanted to. There's other bits and bobs you might want to do for your graphics card. Sound is a bit problematic in Flash, as also I've found. It works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. But on the whole, 
it's quite stable as an alpha. But if you don't want an alpha, go to the stable version. Anyway, that's enough ranting from me, really, isn't it? Tiny Core, Toolkit for Linux, build it your way, sneak your links out, lovely jubbly, super duper, love it. See you soon, sneaky Linux out. <laughs>